Hey everyone, we have just finished Spring Fest. This is the day after Spring Fest. We were all tired and now we are all drunk. Uh, how is it, everyone? Are you guys feeling well? Yeah, it's great. Good. I guess. Yeah. Good dinners. That's right. Good dinner. That's right. We had a great dinner with the uh, with the, the Y Schwartz crew as well and the Singaporean guys. Insane. Insane. Very cool, very cool. Let's kind of talk about Spring Fest though. We haven't had a tournament in like a while, mm. right? Uh, Not an IR IRL. Yeah, yeah, yeah except yeah. Derek. Because he decided to travel. Um, yeah. But yeah, for most of us, this was our first IRL event for in a while. And I guess it was like really good seeing everyone. Mm -hmm. What was everyone's thoughts and opinions? Um, Simon, you can start. You're always the quiet one. Wow. Thank yes. you. <laughs> um, I guess I wasn't quite happy with my turnout of like events. I didn't get much time to practice. And I was pretty actually sad at the end of the day that I didn't put enough effort to like fight for the matchups I wanted to look into. Mm. Um, standard was kind of... I don't know, I don't like over-trigger. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that, bro. I feel that. No, that, I feel that, that is the core mechanic of the format, man. I'm sorry, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even play over dress and I agree with you. I think <laughs> he played Vanguard like standard how many times? Like twice? Like twice. Yeah, he hasn't even played Bastion yet, man. Wow. <laughs> I think it was Bastion. Toby, how about you, man? Um, well, I'm just glad to get, you know, finally be able to catch up with all the boys again and, like, everyone that I normally catch up with at, uh, Springfest. Yeah. Like, uh, every time I come to Australia, like, each, uh, BCS or BC BSF, it's, uh, always an amazing time to be able to catch up with everyone and, like, have the experience of being a part of such a large community again. Like, it's pretty, pretty special, honestly. Like, um, like, if you haven't been before to any sort of event, I would recommend it highly. Like, it's, it's such a transform transformative, like, part of your life. To be able to like be a part of such an amazing group of people, so just to experience the culture and the um the atmosphere is like really really amazing. So, um and coming back three years, um pretty much like straight after Worlds, um like two and a half honestly yeah, really because like yes yeah, uh, BSF right. season mm -hmm. yeah yeah and that sort of range is still just like such a massive gap and only be able to talk to so many people online that we get to get to travel for and you know be a part of like being such a like great great community and bunch of friends again like it was such a great experience and uh for the tournament itself like um like some shaky aspects ever since coming back since overdress with like such a core cool mechanic of, like overdress has always been a bug on my shoulder to being able to, like especially standard being able to miss off like so many games from like top cuts individually like um the online tournaments or like just not doing as well during like you know the uh bsf season just because of other triggers myself it's a rough feeling um but in saying that, like, just the uh, gameplay is still, like, relatively decent besides that fact, so it's not so bad. And premium went, like, decently well as a personal track record, so I'm pretty okay there. So, um, honestly, like, if you get a chance to go to the BCS season next year, um, or even before that with BRO, with the online community, like, in the past, BSF and BRO has been amazing in the past. The, we've all had great experiences, there's been so many good, uh, positive experiences, so... This next coming month, if you have the opp opportunity to, I would highly recommend it. I mean, that was a very good speech. You should run for office. <laughs> <laughs> good job for Spro, the uh, Genesis, Genesis basement. <laughs> and, um, also for records, um, over the weekends we have uh, two teams. Um, plus we, we, split. We, we split. We split up. Yes, yeah. we yeah. decided to split the formats for the fact mm -hmm. of like we wanted to try and have a like consistent score to try and have our like our base teams to get as most consistent high tops as possible. Um, we got as close as we could, though. Yeah. And closest, the first team was uh, Simon, Toby, and Derek here. And they got... Uh, me, Kelvin, and Mark on the other team. Yes. So the, the, these guys play standard and premium. Mm -hmm. uh, we played V and Weiss. Yeah. Weiss, yes. Yes. And uh, what, what did we come? We, we came second in V. And, and then, then eighth place. Oh, top eight. Top eight. Fifth yeah. place. More. Yeah. 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 Technically fifth place. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not by the first place team. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then uh, these guys played. How 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 well did you do in standard? Uh, so standard was fourth place. Um, and then yeah, premium. yesterday premium. premium was third place. So Redemption. That's right. DD forty three X. Yes. What's up, my God? That was the kind. Of <laughs> 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 yeah, and then Ken played. Uh, played judge. Played. Okay. Play. 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 Judge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, judge for WS and uh, regular judge for Vanguard. Alright, Mark, how, how sore is your back? 
<laughs> I've done more exercise in the last two days than I've done in the previous year. <laughs> we three. Well, there was no team tournaments in the previous year, so yeah, there's, there's yeah, yeah. nothing for you to carry. Oh, Thanks, yeah. COVID. Uh, but yeah, it's good to be back. Um, as good as we gave praise to the online tournaments, like in our previous vi videos, um, they are just not the same mm -hmm. as real life tournaments. Um, like it. Online tournaments, we get to meet and play other players from sort of different regions. All around the world, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas, mm. when it's a local event in real life, you know, it's a community that we know. Yeah. Like Vanguard and WS, unlike some of the other bigger games, um, usually the community is very tight, packed, knit together. Uh, everyone knows each other fairly well. And then, um, because of that, it just, it's just a good experience to be all together playing for this one prestige title. Mm. Nice, nice. And uh, I guess we'll go to Derek. You've not only played in Indonesia and in Sydney, but you've also played in the hospital as well. <laughs> <laughs> How is that going? Uh, yeah, it's been a wild ride. Um, arrived on Wednesday and not within, not even two days. And then I got taken to the emergency department because uh, my I got infected. Couldn't see. Yeah, I couldn't Dang. see. I couldn't see. I couldn't even open my mm. eye. Uh, my left Wally eye. Ma Wally Maguire? Yeah. <laughs> Wally Maguire. yeah. Uh, so yeah, Kai, uh, I, I was like in pain in the hospital. I mean, and then, yeah, Kai and Kelvin, Toby went along with me. Um, they put anesthetics in and then voila, I could see. Um, so yeah, it took the day to recover on the Friday and then obviously BS had happened on Saturday and Sunday. Um, absolutely amazing experience, um, and it's also good to kind of share it with um, the 16 other people. I can't unzip. Hello? Yeah? Yeah? Oh, good. Congrats, man. See you later. good to kind of share the experience with the other 16 people that came from WA um, and surprisingly enough WA actually did really really good um, this past weekend we had um, obviously our team uh, come fourth place in standard but also three other teams from WA uh, one winning the whole event um, beating Kai's team and then uh, two teams um, coming <laughs> uh, top eight so Absolutely amazing experience. Um, I think I persuaded or like actually dragged three or four of them to go and then they were reluctant to go and the responses from them have just been, man, it's like an experience um, that they'll never forget. So yeah, it's been a really, really good experience and even for me catching up with like um, a lot of people that I haven't seen in three years, it's mm -hmm. just an mm -hmm. amazing thing, yeah. Kelvin? Yeah, first of all, I think I just want to say like, you know, Having just a personal connection, people being there right next to you, you can see them, you can feel their presence. It's just totally different from like you know, having them on a Discord call. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it's all fun and stuff, but like, it's, it's I find it hard to explain in words. But it's just the company. You know, mm -hmm. you go have meals together, you have a, you know, drink all, together. All the good stuff. vibes. Yeah, all yeah. the good vibes, exactly. Um, and that that's moments that uh, you know you just. Um, experience online um 
And yeah, you definitely have like some interesting matchup when you just play games, you flip like your play mat and they have the same sleeve as you. <laughs> <laughs> check Fiona's on his Twitter. Yeah, yeah uh, check Fiona's on his Twitter for that. Um, and my upcoming report. <laughs> yeah. um, and like, you know, just like, you know, friends like from your local or like people you, t- you speak to online, um, you get to play them, you get to like see their games. Um, and it's just been great. Um, I mean, we, we, I think on team records, I think we all did pretty well. Overall, mm. four days, oh no, two days, four tournaments, we top eight all four of them. Yeah. So that, that's pretty yeah. impressive yeah. record. Mm. Consistency is key, I yes, think, yes. Yeah, overall. And, and, and uh, Darcy also has a WS top eight as well. Yes. Um, yeah, top, top, four, top, four, top four, top four, top four. Yeah. So uh, we, I think we all did pretty decent. Mm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, plus the few minor adventures yeah. few days before that yeah. <laughs> uh i think i think it's all been an amazing experience and definitely a year to be remembered um i mean this is the first time i stayed up like 5 a.m in a <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, that, that is that is true i mean New I, well this guy also like told us like, a few weeks before um spring fest like oh by the way i'm gonna have a surgery the monday before yeah Wait, you didn't tell me that yeah. Oh. Well, you, well, now you, you know. Now you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, you didn't know I had a surgery? No, I didn't. Yeah, I, like, I put it on Twitter, dude. What, what the hell? Do you think I follow you on Twitter? Well, I do. Oh, oh, I do. Oh, oh, I didn't catch that. Whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it later. <laughs> so, like, there's like a bunch of stuff that happened. Uh, my car got hit. The week oh yeah, oh yeah. Yikes. So like, uh, thanks to that, he can carry people around with his new car. Yes, because I got a high car and it's like clean and empty. Usually, it'll be full of junk. <laughs> Um, but now my house is full of the junk inside my car, so I can't get around my house now. So what, you go through the back door? No, I don't have a back door, I just jump. I just, that's how I, that's how I lose weight. I do hurdles inside my house. <laughs> oh, that's the key. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and then, yeah, on Monday I had a, had a surgery, like tonsil surgery, um, and I've just been on painkillers the whole week. It's been great. Oh, is that why you, you like... G assist, it's fine. That's right. I, pr- I yeah, press the panel button on cooldown. I'm the, the one feeling the pain. <laughs> <laughs> Your back is super sore. Literally, oh, just, literally just sitting next to Mark saying G assist every single and traumatizing game. Traumatizing me. Yeah. I think I think every single game I either went G assist or I had to like columbine my night rows and then greed shade my night rows out. <laughs> and it, it was like it was situations where I couldn't even guide and like drop stuff into my drop zone. It was like no situation. So like it was either that or that, um, and it felt really bad. Yeah, and I I I, I played wise and like took ten damage like four games. Yes. <laughs> out of like the uh, six, uh, six rounds. Played. Yeah, yeah. we um, played six rounds. Five yeah. rounds and then um, top So eight. that was fun. Um, <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> what was it? Love my sunshine is so fun. I play a lot of WS and that doesn't sound like fun. I think someone's like up there is telling me like do not play this thing because like but you'll regret it. Love my but... sunshine has really good conversion rate, man. It must be good. Mm. Ooh. Mm. I want to see that spicy this stats. This guy just thing. really wants Love Life Sunshine banned. Yeah. Alright, so since I talked a bit about how my t- tournament experience went, uh, how did you guys go? Um, I know... Uh, Kelvin's also been talking about how he's just been eating damage, and I've already kind of said how Mark was carrying, you know, and he's, he's now a strong man, big arms, maybe a broken back. <laughs> and how did the other team go? Anyone want to volunteer? Yeah. Oh, okay. don't go for it. <laughs> so first day, I was like, pretty OP, until I got to the last <laughs> round. <laughs> Not flexing or anything. Um, I went undefeated in Swiss with Kyrie. And it reminded me of my run in uh, in Indonesia, but then we 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 passed top eight, which was good. We got to top four, and then we died. And then at that point, I was like, "Hmm, maybe it's not like Indonesia because in, in Indonesia we got past top four. And then I got to the third and fourth place match, and I versed Gravidia World, the same guy that ver- that I versed in the last round of Swiss. He uh, chucked five meteors on grade three. And I had two PGs in hand. I was like, you know what? I don't trust this guy. I dropped the PG, and then he goes, front, double front. OT, 100 mil on two sides, double crit, double crit, double pal. So each column was 200 mil, and I only had one PG, and I ate four damage. All four damage were four blanks. 
And yeah, that, that was pretty much uh, the end of my undefeated streak. And I really, really wanted to uh, get 9 0, but I, yeah, God said no. You can't do it. Um, you just played around it, dude. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, not. <laughs> just heal, bro. Yeah, just heal, right? Shuffle better. Well, yeah, yeah. Shuffle better, bro. Yeah, so that, that was uh, standard. Um, I, I felt pretty confident for standard. Um, obviously, um, Toby and Simon weren't as confident uh, for standard. Um, and more so were very in control or at least were looking forward to premium. Um, but I guess that kind of follows off my run in Indonesia as well. So my confidence for standard was really high. Um, but not to say that um, premium was, you know, bad or anything. And then obviously got, got to premium. Um, I think I won, I, I went X3 um, and then, yeah, went into the last round. I uh, played one of my good friends from Melbourne, Justin Mal. And then, yeah, we had like the funnest game both of us drew ot um draw for turn on first turn and yeah we both kind of just talked about it and had a pretty clean game otherwise yeah i think um yeah the tournament run for me went pretty well cool i think i actually just want to interject it's like it kind of like for derek he's like saying he's very confident um going into the tournament but also because he also went to indonesia right yeah like mm -hmm. you know a pre kind of for, for like a lot of us well basically all of us this is basically the only tournament that we can attend. The IRL one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. IRL. So it's like, I don't know, a lot of nerves, yeah? Very very anxious in, yeah, in doing so. well, yeah? Because yeah. you have pretty much like one shot. It's not like we're in Europe or like NA where we can travel to like multiple events. Like traveling in SEA is like... It's you like getting on a plane. Two, two grand. <laughs> it's very expensive, so yeah. it's a lot very... Uh, we, we don't have the big control. trains. You know. Tell me about it. I have to pay the most out of everyone. No, no, this guy's not this even from travel. Australia. <laughs> like, is, isn't that crazy? He's like, yeah. uh, he's from New Zealand, yeah? Yeah, the furthest from everywhere. I know, yeah. right? I know. But he, you know, he's a champion. He's got, champion. he's got to do it. Chilling. <laughs> yeah. All right, Simon, how'd you go? Oh, I'm doing pretty really good, but I did, I did, hey, 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 I did at least win the white matches I needed to win, okay? Yeah, okay. You did. That's okay. my story too. Oh. <laughs> Contributing to the team. That's right. Um, yeah, um, I was playing Sarah for Standard, and most of the time I feel like it, was, it wasn't too bad. Um, Standard was clearly not a format I excel in, but I actually enjoyed the format apart from over triggers. Um... The only thing I really hate about the format was really just Magnolia, because I really couldn't <laughs> feel in control at all on those matchups. Any other ad matchup was not wasn't bad. You were playing Seraph. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Seraph. Yes. Uh, for Prim Hard, I wanted to play Highlander. Um, I really actually enjoyed. I looked into it, and I wanted to enjoy playing all these various variation of cards, to play different matches, and unfortunately, it didn't work out as I like, planned. Because first match I played against a uh, Strike and Overlord. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, he triggered like um, front trigger and crit, so I took four damage on the first hit. What year were you in those? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was called BSF 2022. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. so I got bashed pretty hard. Two to pass hit. Okay, so I couldn't really prepare for that. Um, after that, it was pretty good. Um, from the middle of the event, it was six rounds, right? Yeah, six rounds. Six rounds. So I started winning from that point onwards until I played against the Singaporean team. Um, I played into Grand Blue. I was pretty confident in that matchup because all the matchups I won were matches I expected to win. Um, it was like Mega Colony, um, Nightmare Dolls, and so on. Um, but unfortunately, I guess Grand Blue, I was pretty confident that he wouldn't be able to um set up his ghost ship and so on unfortunately he made 20 cards and got his ghost ship running <laughs> with a break right on nightmares oh like a hit from two to six. Oh well <laughs> that's that happens that's thank god but i enjoyed the aspect of the game i, I in, really enjoyed the day and it was really fun mm -hmm. that's part of the reason why mm -hmm. i still play this game as well yeah and, i think to add on to that as well um for premium especially um like the earlier rounds um i ended up winning but then the later rounds um i ended up losing so the last two rounds um i lost to andrew shout out to andrew in melbourne uh he had a title assault on an xl circle uh and he went to lambros gb3 and he dropped his hand and literally had no hand couldn't survive my next turn and yeah i, 
I no guarded the Vanguard, and he goes, he'll trigger auto title, draw trigger auto title, and then over trigger auto title, and then during that turn he put two Andres into Soul, so that title slot could could restand four times. Could attack um, four times, right? Yeah, could yeah. can attack four times. Uh, so yeah, that that was an experience, but. I think one of the things that Simon said was that, um, you know, he needed to win the matches that he needed to win. Um, and, like, the last two rounds, I think, um, I dropped those. Um, so he picked up the slack, and, um, yeah, I'm just grateful that he did. I mean, yeah. in, in a way, it's normal to, like, like if you're going to lose games, it'll be later on the tournament. <laughs> the players are getting yeah. better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, but since he'll draw over string as a skill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Outplayed. Yeah, outplayed. I yeah. should have played around it, but yeah. right. Over trigger, out triggered. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Should have had four PGs, bro. Yeah. Uh, so for our team, I, we, we, don't, we can just go, we don't have to yeah, one yeah, by that's one. True, right? yeah. yeah, so what were our records for V? So I ended up 3 2 in Swiss, and then like 0 3 in top 8. It was amazing. <laughs> 3 5 over oh, Wow. 3 5, yeah. That's like, apart from like the G assisting and stuff. Uh, I think okay, one of the games where it looked like it was going okay, uh, my opponent triple, uh, triggered like on an Amon uh, triple sentinel crit, so I just took four damage. What the you played uh, Grand Blue, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hate Grand Blue now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I just took like five damage, kind of lost like two turns because of that, so now you're on five and have to defend everything, mm. and like felt bad. Felt really bad. Got stupid tilted. Another great game I had was uh, in Top Cut. I was like, uh, I G assisted. Uh, and then sat on a Beatrice for like three turns against a Gurgit, farming Excel Circle. Yeah, yeah, that, was... yeah that, that seems really, that was really fun. <laughs> that really hurts. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like Vanguard. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the, the reason why this chat oh, exists. Hey, the, the best thing, yeah. So, so round two, start the game, uh, go second, G assist. Miss, eat like, eat like, uh, eat like, I'm playing Carmelo, so, the, so, the, so you beat me again in the finals, but yeah, then he just drops the whole hand and like bashes me in the face. <laughs> Feels good, man. Yeah. Feels good, bro. And then if you play Overdress, you can't miss riding. Oh. Yeah. 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 Should, I should just play Overdress, right? Oh, yeah. Wanna swap? Wanna swap? Yeah. <laughs> it would have liberated these guys from a format with over triggers. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You can sit there and get G, uh, Grace stuff. Yeah. 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 And then, tell me, what are you, man? Well, I started my first round playing Gurgit Mirror, and my opponent, um... Oh! oh. No, this is a funny story! Yes, okay, <laughs> okay. You and him played the Gurgit Mirror and mm -hmm. went to time, yeah? Yes. <laughs> and then you basically, you both hit, like, a trigger every single damage. No, 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 I only took three damage to the game, he took seven. Okay. And all seven of them were defensive triggers, and he healed twice on defense. Okay, that's crazy. Uh, and then what was your record for Swiss? One four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With the Gurgit yeah. So the Gurgit mirror, the other the, the other guy you played Brian, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he also went one four. It all <laughs> it all stemmed from that first double loss in round one. And then both Gurgit players going one four. Is that that's, cursed bad? That's amazing, dude. That's an amazing record. Dude. <laughs> that, was, that was painful. Like one of the game was like um I think I started second. In every single, yeah, I think I, I just had it second on every single like Swiss. Um, one of get the game was like I think it was on stream as well. I guess yeah. like Joel Knight went second. It's like all right, great three turn ride, do my thing, attack trigger, max slash max slash, and yeah. at that point my hand was like four great threes. I'm like oh okay, oh. It doesn't look too good. I put him like just three rides, gets a crit, bashes face. I'm like oh. if it doesn't get a crit, I might be able to survive. Flips a crit like. <laughs> um, and the last game was like went second against like Dinos. Um, I did from two damage or something because like I get no defensive triggers and he was hitting up twenty four. Yeah, he just lose like Kevin just losing his touch. Yeah, I just like just touch Nemesis. <laughs> yeah, yep. touch 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 touch. I, I hope wow. like some meteor hits those Dinos and they like. <laughs> hey, how many times did your personal go to damage there? <laughs> oh, uh, three times. In Swiss. <laughs> so good, dude. What, what the? Hell? Yeah. Um. Like my best card in that. Day was Sagramore. I'm like Sagramore man. Wow. Dude, why, were you, why were you playing me, dude? dude. <laughs> so, why were you um, playing me, man? But we got second place. Yes. And this we, guy we lost three games. 
Bro, bro, so, dude, I carried you in Swiss. Okay, what yeah, yeah so I'm carrying you in top. That's so, right. It's called um, a team effort. Top eight, I went against. Uh, what was it? Oh, it was Gurgit Mirror. So yeah. my opponent had uh, a Gurgit with one axle. This is like turn six. Yeah. And I was on Sagra more with three axles. <laughs> and then I finally got my Gurga and then I smashed his face. <laughs> wow. Who uh, was so toxic? <laughs> and then uh, my top four was against uh, Plon. And uh, when I oh, played, that was a good game. When that I played was a good game. that good. game, I realized. Man, this is why people in Japan play that interception. <laughs> <laughs> the great two force intercept will do wonders, but that was a pretty tough battle because mm. he managed to survive and got like you know a lot of access and intercept powers. Um, so I was just like nuking his regard with like fourteen k attacks. Yeah, yeah. But he had like the thirty five k shield. Like, yeah, yeah, he's like, oh, he, was like, he didn't get the yeah. soul charge. Yeah, he didn't straight. get the soul charge. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. But just. Managed to win that one on a on a slither. Yeah, of, um, nah, power. That, that was played everything correctly. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then he and then come on won the last game. Except Derek's the, good friend. Six damage shield. Six damage shield. Yeah. He would have had a better record than me. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it games a game. I deal the second damage. That's all that mattered to me, mm -hmm. and then the rest is just. That was perfect yeah. as well because it was on stream, so everyone gets yeah. to witness. Oh the... yeah, that was on this channel as well, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so I think we can get one. Double drive check grade three game was also on stream. Yep. Oh yeah. yeah. Sorry. Oh, that... You can catch all of Kelvin's misfortune on this channel if you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then we have um, Weiss. Uh. Hmm. Yes. Well, no, we don't have Weiss. We missed Mark. Dude. What the yeah. Hell? Get Mark. Uh, to Mark. Hey, Mark, sir. Yeah. So I have to say you went you went X one right, pretty good. Right? Um yeah so. And what was your one loss? So well, this can be kind I of realized one. that I haven't actually paid attention to these two guys' scores. <laughs> <laughs> now that now that I've heard them, I, I'm starting to wonder how the heck did I come second? <laughs> <laughs> one four. <laughs> We just like miss out like, like Kai and me we just like lose on the different like rounds. That's how. That's Dude, how. it wasn't it's not that you, you, you came second, how did you nearly come first? Hey One four in Swiss, buddy. Teamwork guys. Um, Teamwork. Cool. Yeah, I, I was the one playing this deck in format prison. Um so a lot of expectations on my deck, mm. and luckily I didn't fail to deliver. Yeah, the spicy variant as well, Prism, um, didn't you? Yeah, yeah so because it's like solemn special. Yeah, so, like we've seen so many of them, but like, hey, 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 uh, months let's, like, like let's, let's kind of talk about like the, the, the Prism. Yeah, I think, I think it's worth talking about just mm. a little bit. Mm. Sir, I remember, sir, there's, there's, there's actually a funny story. Is like, Solemn like messaged me way back early in the format going, dude. You know, have you seen the ban list? Like, Prism Ruby, yeah, it's so sick. I've, I've been testing it, and I'm like, really? Maybe I should test it. And then we just, like, sat here, like, I showed it to Mark, and then Mark tested it, and, like, he'd just start off, and then do his Ruby Air plays uh, when he starts the game, and just go to the toilet or something, and wait, like, <laughs> 10 minutes until he's, like, done. Just, just building a free field. Uh, and then, and then, yeah, we're like, wow, this is pretty cracked. This deck's pretty good. And then Solom eventually went on to go. Oh, I want to. I want to. I want to high roll more. You know, uh, I'm gonna. And then he built his Highlander build that everyone's playing now. Um, but we we like the Riviera build a lot more. Uh, so we kind of stuck with that. Um, yeah. But also, also the funny thing. One one thing that came up was um, Outer Orange also like posted a a Prism Riviera list as well. <laughs> like a, like one week after Solom was talking to us. It's so like, hey, did you see this list? Yeah. It's like, oh no, the secret spill, man. <laughs> but yeah, tell, 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 tell the audience why you like Prison Ruby more than the highest. The, uh, yeah, so uh, it's just like, oh, it's a bit about what Kai said. And I think a very good example that I had that yesterday was my very first round one. Against Mr. Derek's good friend, Fan. <laughs> um, mm. uh, I'm sorry, not sorry, for pulling the absolute nuts on, on you. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that game, I went, like, everything just went perfect 
at the first two turns, I row my clear, got my top seven check, and then row a Riviere. Got you, a, you also get um, Liz Lot? Uh, well, I'll get to that. <laughs> row, row my Riviere, got a second copy of Riviere, row that, got a grade two Riviere, and then so on, and then play down a Liz Lot. And then so my grade two turn involved playing down my Aqua, bounces my Liz Lot and wrote my grade 2 Riviere so I get two grade 1 Riviers for free on the field and wrote another Riviere to just filter, you know, Solemn's favourite card, got Upstart <laughs> Goblin <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, everything was just great and that's exactly why I think this variant of the deck is a bit better um, I've, I know Solemn talked about how he wanted to high roll with his Hide the ish build, but I think the Riviera version just high rolls way more when you do get the high roll. Mm. Yeah. I think it was because it was the uh, stock standard back then. It was the fact that it was just like just the pure prism package plus uh, utility. Mm. It was like that core package yeah. was just really good, but the upper echelon of like Riviera that yeah. can bring to the package was just like kind of like skewed to be slightly better in that aspect. Well, yeah. it's yeah. it's you have bad matchups as Prism, where they scale higher than you. Yep. Mm -hmm. right. So Prism Riviere will high roll better yeah, early on. That's exactly yes. what my thought process was. Um, after losing early, Prism can no longer afford to play the game as long as they could have back then. So by, fo by having an engine that focuses better on the early game, I think that's probably the way to go. I mean, even even with Ellie, right, there are some matchups that are just not yeah. good, yeah. going late, like the one and things like that. Yeah, so, even go good. Mm, yeah. So, yeah. you know... Mm. Having this full feel on Grade 2 just, like, for free yeah. is yeah. pretty not... Even yeah. things like Shahrog can randomly kill you yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if you're not right. careful. But, yeah, I think it's just also, like, you know, when it's, like, turn 2 and you do, like, you know, 10 actions, it does, like, EMOTIONAL DAMAGE to your opponent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so going to my record, um, that game... On during Swiss, I went four one. I lost round four to a Hanzo Bill Nibatama. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's mm. so it's so good. Like that guy is you that know, it's a, he's, a, he's the best thing. He's like Mark and Solemn share the same birthdays. They like the same plans. <laughs> they also boost, so now they also boost to Nibatama. <laughs> same. <right? laughs> wow. Well, I'm I'm sorry that I have no way to deal with Mizukaze two turns in a row. Wow. Yeah. Oh. When when they put down Mizukaze and do five attacks, and then the next turn they do six attacks with oh. Mizukaze, when can only guard with one great each time. Yeah. Yeah, uh, things are tough. I can hold like 20 cards in my hand. Yeah, maths is hard, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's, only there's only so many grades in your hand you can have. Yeah, they didn't introduce more grades. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, I went 3-0 in top 8 uh, matches. So, what's funny, like, so in, in the tournament for at least Australia, uh, Sydney, uh, the communication was allowed. So, yes. you, can, you oh. can teach your players, what, you can tell your players what to do. And although we put Prism for Mark, our best player playing like the best deck, right? Hmm. A lot of players put Prism on their weakest player and then just control them. <laughs> how to play. Yeah, like the the floor for for Prism is actually not that low, yeah. right? Even right, I kind of really. learned how to play Prism right. in like it's, a couple of games. I find it's also like such a simple deck you can provide instructions like with just like yes. you know, two, three mm. sentences yes. where someone looks like oh use this to call that to buy that to call these to like you know there's a lot of interaction yeah with so you had a lot of so you actually have a lot of prison players sitting on the side yeah. And then the, their best place sitting in the in middle, B, just yeah. telling the prison player what to yes. do. <laughs> um, it, it's part of the strat in yeah. like you know teams. Yeah. Like, it's yeah, either that or like the fact that the prison player in the middle could get oh, like yeah. so much and outside do, yeah. sort of input from either player, depending on yes. how the perspective mm -hmm. and like the certain player. I never played a prison player in the middle. That was a crazy thing. Mm -hmm. I played all the wow. weird decks. In the <laughs> 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 so actually, I think Mark played the most prison mirrors. Actually. So, oh no, I didn't play one. You only played one. Yeah, how well, many? I played a lot. You played a lot? Yeah, a decent amount, I think. Oh, yeah, so... I played one Prism during so, my top 8 game. No, I think mm. so it, it just means like in most teams that are used to like two good players and like they try to help the, the one that... No, no, but you're on the side, so you're play A, right? Yeah, I played like a lot of Gurgit and like Prism. Oh, okay, mm. okay, that makes sense. Or Bermuda, I mean, Plum. Okay, okay. I also get like me for like <laughs> one copy, man. Wow. Mm. Okay. 
All right, yeah, that's that, that's pretty that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, other than that, I think the tournament ran really well. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Battlefy, we used Battlefy. Um, yes. For registration, also for parry, right. and yep. that worked out like quite well. Um, yeah. You know, QR codes. Everyone uses QR codes these days. You can check like pairings on your phone instead of like crowding the. Yeah. Yes. Um, but it, it is still there. The pairing is still there for those who doesn't have access to them. They're like me. I, I yeah. Mean, I mean, I mean, he's, he's a boomer. He's a boomer. <laughs> yeah. Um, Someone told me it was an app for PayPal. <laughs> 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 just you just <laughs> found out. Yeah. This guy doesn't have Discord app on his yeah, phone. Can awesome. you believe it? So Australia is pretty much well known to have had pretty good booster tournaments overall. Um, and it's sometimes like a hit and miss at different regions. Uh, I know in Europe, I think it ran pretty well the whole whole season as well. Uh, in like the in Southeast Asia, there's 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 one and two good ones, and some some bad ones. So it's also in America as well. Uh, but I think it's really just down to like again, Europe also has like a dedicated court judging staff that knows what's going on, and here we also have like the regulars that show up. So, uh, giving given enough time, I think just there will just be naturally better and better judges. Um, and if like we should put forward an actual like judging program mm -hmm. you know, that's like comprehensive and like you know attractive i think overall just things will get better um and spring fest like being like the first circuit just after like x years of people not showing up to tournaments because there aren't none um it just means they kind of have to rebuild the base because people leave right people yeah. leave the scene you know you need fresh faces or yeah. i think yeah. you know come like bcs maybe you know things will get better and better Hopefully. Yeah, I uh, think on a, on average, if not a little bit more, is that we had a, a player count that's been like consistent across the board since mm -hmm. COVID. Like the same amount in Australia has been relatively the same, if not a little bit more. And across different regions, like for AO, EU, and uh, NA, has been a similar metric. Like they've been consistently the same. Uh, if not more, in different areas. So it just it just it just, it, yeah, <laughs> it, just it, it just goes to show that like even just because of like COVID that um, if you heard like some communities have gone down, some have grown, that uh, that the numbers have still stayed relatively the same, and even in some areas, the most uh, on average improved and such. Yes. So yes, it's been pretty. And, it's been pretty good to see. And, and like we're talking about num like good numbers in like a weekend that has been like pretty much. Terrible in terms of weather. Oh, it's weather. flooding. Yeah, it's yep. in the, yes, uh, yes. The trains don't work. Yeah, track work and reduced train services. Yeah, it, it's oh, not. Good. Literally, everything's not working. Yeah. And people are showing up. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I think VCS would be a lot better in terms of turnout, and even next year. We'll yeah, be yeah. So overall, I think it's been been great. Although some some of our personal results have been as as amazing as we'd like it. Uh, it okay, is what team, it is. Team carry. Yeah, team carry. Yeah. Yeah, it was teamwork. Teamwork, teamwork. Overall, right. overall consistency. Yeah. Consistency is key. Yeah, like, yeah we were consistently shit. We take turns. Yeah, we it's, fine. Honestly, it's, like, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, the okay. fact of like, yeah, <laughs> in saying that, like we we would like to have like you know obviously better results as yeah. like yes. everyone does, right? Yeah. But the fact that like both our sort of like um and, um massive teams have like like tops up both both weekends has been like pretty impressive on our side right in yeah. Sydney mm -hmm. yeah thanks to Mark thanks to Mark hey hey, hey. Derek yeah. thanks um, to Derek cheers to that Derek and Mark Derek yeah, and Mark. hey 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 this one bro <laughs> 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 oh, and also, thanks to Ken for being a, such a great judge and Thank helping you. around thanks to the game loss Ken oh yeah yeah, yeah. he gave us that so I didn't I didn't set the time, time I just had to enforce pretty brutal, them, but you know rules uh, are rules yeah no big congrats to the team Singapore who won uh, premium both and, days like, yeah, yeah it did very well yes, premium yeah. yes uh, it's impressive and then the, the, the camp wasn't it uh, Camillo's team. Yeah, yeah so Carmelo's yeah. team. So WA. Yeah, team. WA team. First place. Yeah, yeah. Carmelo, Jesse, yes. and Fu. Um, yeah. yeah, obliterating Kelvin's team. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Except for Mark. I'm not reading, I'm not, I'm not reading your top decks anymore. <laughs> next, next time, six heal, not gonna work, man. I'm gonna deal like eight damage to the first. <laughs> gonna, he's gonna yeah, play but big, big shout out to them. Um, I think, like, back in WA, um, that particular team. I know Carmelo spent so many hours um, testing, and then I know Jesse, um, I think, took some days off work even um, to kind of get together. Um, funny thing is, is that we had three 
gatherings for WA where like um, everyone who went to Springfest kind of gathered together and just tested, tested the whole day. Um, and then all three of them made all three of the days um, and then even took the time out um, to kind of test. So it, it just shows that hard work pays off. Um, yeah. yeah, and congratulations. And, and I think WA just kind of shows that like a strong locals community mm-hmm. as well. Uh, basically breeds strong competition. Strong community in general, not just local yes. aspect. The fact that, like, you have so many dedicated people and the fact that you want to, like, you know, improve yeah. each and every time yeah. about um, whether it's small, large, or even greater, right? The fact you have that drive it's, motivation, well, it's, it's right? like, because Derek kind of explained before, like, yeah. how WA used to be small. Mm. But now they travel to all the events, they, like, got a big, big community going on. I think it's, it's similar to, like, the White Shores community in Sydney, mm. yeah. yeah. Um, you know, you start lo- local, but yeah, it's not local guys. It's very, very time. important. Yeah, um, I think I think that's kind of it. We've been talking about a long time. Any quick last words? You know, one word answers only. I just want to thank the deck look thing bit again. Uh, that was a, a very long word. But yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For the judge, no, but yeah, no, as a judge, I made the deck check process a lot easier because it's easier to recognize cards by art than it is by card name, especially mm. in my sports. So again, thanks for the deck log. Yeah, Bushiro did a really good job on that part yeah. to sort of yes. implementation um, during last year to yeah. make sure everything is like streamlined, especially from the online perspective coming into like IRL events again yeah this has done really well All right. well what, what I guess uh, shout what out to Fiona and Ru Yang for coming to BS- BSF Sydney um, yeah. and yeah like it's just amazing to kind of meet the people um, that you know work behind the scenes that is not in Australia um, and then I really wish Matt could come to <laughs> Sydney the guys are somewhere in the US uh, with like 30,000 <laughs> 50,000 people uh, and yeah just having fun over there uh, he's having some mo- FOMO at the moment um, but yeah and then obviously shout out to um, Team Singapore Gabriel Fabian and Andre absolutely Fabian, amazing the fighter Chang. yeah the fighter <laughs> the yeah, fighter Fabian fighter Chang. Yeah. Um, yeah amazing work like getting first place on double day is actually insane um, yeah so congratulations to them and then obviously shout out to WA uh, amazing state and yeah just keep it going yeah uh, last ones, guys. Kelvin. Shout out to the WCC boys. Yeah. yeah. All of us. Yeah. And yeah. uh you better post your deck log stuff and like everything on Twitter and hashtag VG Top Decks. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Thank you guys. Next Thursday. Yeah. Right, I think Mark, it's uh, Friday. Mark, anything you want to yeah. say? See you in Melbourne. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. BRO. Oh, right. Right. Yeah, 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 but, yeah. Hey, there was a team called Let's Be Market Wine. Yeah, yeah. actually. <laughs> we're, 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 we know who you live. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think. Uh, this, Simon. Oh, oh. I was just going to say before this, mm-hmm. uh, just a big prerequisite saying that, like, the first big season coming back to IRL has been, like, extremely successful in the range of, like, participants coming back into a post COVID world, right? Where we're all trying to come back into you know the normal standard of living and things, and the mm. fact that like pretty much so many events and nearly like pretty much nearly all of them have been like extremely well rounded, like streamlined to you know be um, amazing um, to accommodate to so many of the uh, community's needs and understanding that things have been difficult, but we're trying to be willing to you know continue to build the community aspect and try to get back to real life and you know grow the. Uh, massive aspect of how BSF was in the past and like coming back from 2019 to 22 has been a massive feeling of you know nostalgia basis like this is this is like what we live for right thank god has been the greatest yeah yes we love it yeah. Um, yeah, this, <laughs> hopefully this place doesn't like like doesn't crash down because yeah. we're in a bit of a stormy <laughs> yeah sure. a bit of a noise there's up, like yeah. a skylight right there and it keeps on like rumbling yeah hopefully you could hear what I just said yeah, uh, yeah. Simon you're uh, the last guy am I the last guy? I'm the last guy right. yeah, just, okay, just say your opinion man. yeah one word uh, I, I really <laughs> one word no 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 you can say more than that just, just, just say your okay, opinion sure yeah. uh, I really think that we have such a great team we're such a great time um thank the government for opening the borders really like, <laughs> <laughs> shout out to the government hey i want to be here right True. True. Yeah, and, uh, countries. hopefully japan let, we can play what world finals in japan yep. that yes. would be yes. great that would be great yes yeah blame the government Cool. You're not like eu you can't just like you know go <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <by train. laughs> uh okay yeah 
I guess uh, thanks everyone for, for coming. Um, thank Kelvin for, for letting us use his house all the time. I didn't give permission, you just barged in. That's right. It's, it's our house now. Uh, WCC headquarters. I'd like, to, I'd like to thank Panadol for keeping the pain manageable. Um, sponsor us. Sponsor us. <laughs> Put a line on this jersey. That's right. Uh, and then uh, I'd like to thank uh, all the, like, you know, the team you know, uh, for the support, you know, emotional support as well as uh, deck support and, and help. And then, you know, Kelvin and Mark as well, support. the team, yeah, <laughs> carrying support. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'd like to thank, as well, the, the emergency department for seeing us. <laughs> <Wow. well. laughs> Shout out to Concord Hospital. That's right, yeah. that's right. <laughs> but yeah, no, no, seriously, i like to just thank everyone who also went, came up and was like, you know, thank, thanks for making content, it's been, it's been great, you know, that's why we make content. So, yeah, yeah uh, keep, keep playing Vanguard, guys, and, uh, uh, yeah, thanks. Appreciate sure you guys as well come in. So big thumbs up for me. Uh, also, I think thanks Alan as well for for you know controlling the stream. Uh, raise your hand, Alan. He's actually alive. So yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's all the thanks uh, today. Uh, but that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I guess we'll see you guys in BRO. Yes. All right. Bye.